Well, congratulations. How are you feeling? Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling good. But uh, before we get started, man, I just want to uh, give a major apology, man, not only to uh, the Athletic Commission, you know what I mean, for what I did and, you know, pouring the prom over the top of my head. You know, I've, I was feeling a lot of uh, emotions, but as well to the promotion because this is one of the best promotions on the planet. And, you know, when we go out there and get those knockouts, we need to be professional with it. Uh, but then, yet again, the fighters as well because they had to wait for them to clean the, you know, the cage up and stuff like that. So I just want to make a big apology to everybody for what, for what I did, you know, real talk. Well, thank you for saying that. We were actually curious if you knew that that was prime. If we thought maybe you thought it was water. <laughs> no, 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 I knew it was prime, and I should never did that because it burned my eyes a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all sticky too? I can imagine. Yeah, a little sticky, a little sticky. I'm gonna wash up in a minute. <laughs> so overall, what would you rate your performance tonight? Uh, I mean, I, I, I give myself a high grade with that. You know, um, I got touched a little bit. You know, uh, but I was able to show people that you know uh, my chin ain't suspect. You know. Uh, that, that I can take a punch, you know what I mean, that I can keep com coming forward without being deterred or uh, pushed back by anybody, you know. I'm always going to move forward, but at the same time, I don't want to get touched at the end of the day, you know. So, but I think I think I got a high grade for this one, yeah. I mean, you already touched on the fact that you were really emotional after the win. Was was that due to just the fact that the adrenaline was running and it was a great KO? Or was Man, it, it, it was a lot of things. It was a lot of things I've been dealing with throughout the year. And, um, you know, of course, coming off those two losses. And I tell everybody what my mentality is. You know, I feel like, you know, with you coming off of back-to-back -back losses, the UFC is a different type of game now, you know. And be honest, it's a winning business, a winning business, you know. So if you ain't got no undefeated record and stuff like that, man, your job ain't safe, man. You got to keep going, keep pushing, and keep working for a win at all times, you know, so – that's why. What about, how'd you feel in there in terms of the new weight class? Uh, I felt good. I mean, how did, how did I look, you know? Great. Exactly. So, you know, my biggest thing is just like me at 185, you know, it, it prepared me for this moment at 170 and just to show everybody like it's a new dog in town, you know what I mean? So new man's definitely got a new reign coming at the 170 division. And we had a fighter in here a couple months ago who really had a lot of things to say about you. I'm not sure if you know who I'm talking about. Ab no, ma'am. Abdul? Oh, Abdul <laughs> Razak? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just curious if you saw that interview, if you have anything, any response? Nah, 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 nah. Well, we were supposed to do a whole video. You know, unfortunately, uh, he wasn't fighting on this card because he would have been another heavy hitter on this card, and I'm sure he would have got another knockout, and we would have had a good time, you know what I mean, uh, just going back and forth with one another, you know, yeah. And what about who's next for you, or when would you like to get back in there? Like I said, man, I ain't trying to be no bully, you know. Uh, right now, I think, hey, my name speaks for itself. And if you want to make a name for yourself, holler at me, you know. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, Joaquin. Um, how, much, how much pressure was on your shoulders going into this fight with, you know, two losses, new weight class, a loss maybe, out of the promotion? How much pressure did did, did, did you put on yourself? Uh, like I said, I put a ton on myself. You know, a lot of people try to put it on me. You know, uh, even the UFC, I won't even call it pressure, but, you know, I don't know if y'all know this, but your boy about to be locked in to the, you know what I'm saying? Like the UFC game, they, they took the, uh, the game pictures for me and stuff like that to, to get my little blue, you know, my, my look and the 3D little image and stuff like that. And I felt like, you know, I got to show out for this fight, you know? Uh, so my biggest thing is like I always put that pressure on myself to make sure that I always bring out my best potential, you know, against anybody that I fight. Is a rematch with Kevin Holland at there you, go. there you go. There you go. Of course it is. Of course it is. You know, but I don't, I don't call out Kevin Holland only because he been working. You know, he been doing his thing. I feel like I still need a couple more fights before I get to Kev. But uh, of course, that's that's definitely a future fight. Yeah. I weigh in yesterday. You were trying to get Andre to, to talk, but he was just kind of stone. -faced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he said something. He said buckle up. You know, so that's what I did. I buckled up for that ride. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. How are you gonna celebrate this? You say again. How, how are you gonna celebrate this win? Uh, go to sleep. Yeah, man. <laughs> Go night night. <laughs> Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Congrats on the big win. Looking Thank fantastic you. Fantastic at Welter. Yes. Sir. Thank you. Uh, in between rounds, what did your corner see, or what did you see with that opening with that high kick? You uh, hands, but yeah, 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 yeah. So, so Fialo, he, he should have took the break when he had the opportunity when the referee stopped the fight. You know. But uh, he a dog. He said he was a dog, so he continued, and I and I just seen my. I just said, let me just pull this trigger. You know, I pulled the triggers through the high kick, and it was there. And, uh, you know, even though uh, the referee did say stop, I didn't hear him. And then I just seen Fialo's eyes still there, so I had to finish the job, you know. Um, but the referee pushed me back, you know what I mean, and showed that the fight was over with. And uh, I, feel, I feel happy about the finish. Yeah, that's something real mean. I mean, not, just a comment, that step over and that standing to ground strike, that has to be, like, one of the best highlights of your career. 
got, how do you take it to the next level off of that? Uh, which, which one? The finish tonight. Oh, okay. You I, think that you think that was the best one? So far. Oh, uh, you ain't seen nothing yet, then. We going crazy. Can't wait. Congrats on the new weight class. And thank you. The big win. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, I pray.